Chapter 360 of Black Clover has completely changed the perspective of the entire story forever. Much like when Lucius was introduced, we learned that he had affected the events of the past, leading to his plan of becoming the ultimate Wizard King, but now the opposite has been revealed, in which the current timeline we are reading is Asta's. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Asta has quite literally broke time. We can now call this the Asta Effect. He is so broken, he's defeated Fate itself and become too powerful for Lucius to manage as chapter 360 explains that every power up has pulled and unanswered question is because of Asta's existence. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! So let's begin explaining every moment Asta has affected the timeline, kicking things off with Noelle facing her mother whilst the entire bakery is on show as always. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. The brand new sea god's transformation has made her more powerful than ever. This was the result of her love for Asta and never giving up on him, therefore allowing her to go toe to toe against Asya, which shouldn't be possible according to Lucius. This theme continues as Yuno's battle with him also proves Asta's effect. Yuno's speed begins to increase due to his wind and star magic, reaching the same level of Lucius and his foresight ability. Lucius claimed that the one timeline Yuna becomes powerful enough is when he reached a singularity of having two grimoire in chapter 356. In fact, Lucius sees Yuno as such a big problem that out of the tens and thousands of futures he had seen, there's only one where they have an advantage, that key being Yuno getting his second grimoire. Now, what does that mean? Well, Lucius foresaw that Yuno would unlock a new power power to stop time. That's why he instantly nutted when he saw the singularity come true and the future where they have an advantage is happening. A singularity refers to a place in the universe where our laws of physics simply break down. And so with this, you know speed officially scales to be as fast as someone who can see into the future. Nonetheless, you know's teleportation is still not enough as Lucius catches his sword with his bare hands. He hits you know with a little left right good night and gets ready to land the finishing blow. Soul magic. As he's moments away from finally succeeding in taking over his soul, Yuno whips out a trump card. This brand new power, Spirit of Notus, allows Yuno to hold a large shield made entirely out of wind magic that repels any and all attacks. This catches Lucius off guard entirely, who can't make sense of what he's just seen, as Yuno lands his first proper strike on his opponent, slicing straight through Lucius's shoulder. However, despite his speed rising yet again, Yuno states he can't keep going on much longer, thus he has to end this battle right here, right now. But let's be honest, we all know Lucius ain't dead, right? All you know's doing really is warming him up a little bit before the real main course arrives. Asta. Lucius has realised that Asta is him, and he's completely altered the entire timeline due to the strong bonds and everlasting impact he has had on everyone in the story. Lucius states how even if Yuno dedicated his entire life to merely just training, a Yuno that grew up in the Clover Kingdom should have never reached this level of power. Out of every vision Lucius saw in the multiple timelines, the only one where Yuno reached a level that even remotely resembles this was the one who stayed in the Spade Kingdom as a royal without the rebellion that happened. And it still took that version of Yuno years to master star magic, yet somehow this Yuno, in just a little more than a year, has made it his own, becoming even more powerful than he ever should have been. Now we all know that the driving force behind Yuno is Asta. I mean, how often has he said that Asta's his rival? Asta is my rival! Which proves undoubtedly that he set Yuno on a path he never would have walked down without him. It's his entire existence that propels Yuno's passion for growing stronger and becoming the Wizard King. Asta saved him from bullies as a child and became a driving force. Without Asta, the competition is less and the inspiration doesn't exist. Yuno would reach his ceiling and reach his goal with no questions asked. This is the future Lucius foresaw, hence why he can't get his head around what is happening. Remember, Asta is the flaw in Lucius's world. This is why he's so hell-bent on killing him as he's the only person he can't see the future of. Chapter 360 confirms that everything Asta has accomplished has had an effect on the world and Lucius cannot predict it anymore. For example, Asta's effect on Noelle also changed the timeline. When she was effectively kicked out of her family due to her failure at controlling her own magic power, she'd all but given up. In fact, she would have straight up drowned in her own magic if not for Asta saving her. He was the only thing 
thing on the planet capable of helping her in that exact moment. From here, Astra told her that if she could just train to control her power, she'd be unbeatable. And those words of inspiration are exactly what happened. He helped her overcome her mental barriers and reach what were seemingly unattainable heights for her. Just look at the fight against Magicula. This was yet another instance that Asta affected the timeline to help somebody in need by making them level up. Noelle confessing her love for Asta gave her access to Final Saint stage in her battle against Magicula. In this form, Noelle pushed her to the point that the higher ranking devil was shocked at how strong she was. Everything Asta has a butterfly effect on in the world of Black Clover leads to a future Lucius finds impossible to predict and his defeat. He reveals that Siskolion should have been killed instantly at the hands of Morris, yet for some reason, the future changed to one where she survived. The guess can be that she was high on gamer subs. Goddamn right. And right now, you can even use code ABD to get 10% off. Plus, you can get a free polarized shaker cup when you buy their new and improved lemonade flavor, which, may I just add, is the best flavor. So please use code ABD because it really helps the channel. When we look back, we can see that she is another one who has been motivated to continue pushing forward by Asta. Whereas she once believed him to have become a top ranked rookie due to sheer luck, she has since learned that his skill and determination are unbelievable matched. This is further showcased when Mario Leona put her entire life on the line to save Asta against Luciferum. Nazelle stated that they learned from him that anybody can fight those above them, hence why the two of them attacked the literal king of hell saying, I'm looking forward to Asta's future. This was another trigger in the timeline. Their admiration for him caused them to live on and continue watching him grow. Much like with Noelle and Yuno, which was something Lucius couldn't comprehend, thus he can't explain how she is strong enough to battle Morris. Fregolion is another one. However, I regret to inform you all that in every multiverse, he is still known as Fraud Oleon. <laughs> In the futures Lucius saw, Fregolion was supposed to have died earlier. In chapter 30, Fregolion saved Asta against Rades due to the potential he saw in him. He overheard that Asta aimed to be the Wizard King and thus, much like Yuno, declared him to be his rival da! Okay, I promise to never do that again. Even after being put into a coma, he was revived months later thanks to... You guessed it, Asta. Huh? Remember, the fire spirit, Salamander, was what technically brought him back because, as Forgillion himself stated, this must mean that there's something left I must do. <clears throat> we are still waiting, by the way. Anyway, without the Salamander being given the opportunity to choose Forgillion as its host, he would never have woken up again. This is where Asta's influence once again changed Lucius's timeline. The fire spirit was previously with Fana. We once again learned, just like the situation with Noelle, that Asta's anti-magic was the only thing capable of stopping such a monster. And well, what do you know? That's exactly what he did, even after Ladros forcefully absorbed the salamander. Thus, bringing it full circle, that without Asta existing with his anti-magic, they would have never defeated Fana and her salamander, meaning Fregolion would have never come back to life. The same can be said for the magic knights that have made it this far. Asta has saved the Clover Kingdom and made an example to everybody that he is the ultimate wizard king, such as the moment he used Devil Union for the first time, all the other magic knights could do nothing against the ancient demon god, but he proceeded to kill it with one shot. Whereas everybody would have once ridiculed Asta for being a peasant and mannerless, they now strive to fight for him because of what he's done. I mean, Mars said it best. Nobody tries to help and protect people as much as Asta does. Now these are only but a few instances of the moments Lucius mentioned where Asta had changed the timeline. But just look at moments such as when Asta entered Patry's consciousness. It revealed all the insecurities and despair he had within himself after everything he had done. Patry's personality progressively started to change for the better only after Asta interrupted his way of thinking. Asta's inspiring words gave Patry the willpower to carry out his duties to the bitter end. His reunion with Licht afterwards revealed more of his vulnerabilities, which Asta helped him accept, which further strengthened his resolve to now save instead of kill. This had inadvertently put a stop to a cube d'etat by the elves in the Clover Kingdom saving everybody and creating Elysia, a sanctuary for the elves to live peacefully. What's more is that the butterfly effect this had meant that William survived, which leads us onto the Cliff of Ritual and Lucifero's reincarnation. Once again, Asta saved everybody. Even when Nact tried to sacrifice himself like three times in that arc, Asta refused to let
let it happen. And now, thanks to the Aster effect, they too would fight to the death to keep him safe. Much like how Lucius is just now realising, Lucifero also realised that the reason nothing was going to plan the entire time was due to Aster simply existing. The Cliffoth ritual is also what's responsible for giving Yami his devil heart, which is an integral part of the story. Therefore, we can add Yami to the long list of characters who have gained new powers that they never would have without Aster. In fact, Yami may have never even lived if not for Aster never giving up to stick by his leader's side against Dante. It was the first time Yami ever called Aster by his name, and by doing so he saved the entire Black Balls in those five seconds. This again changed the trajectory of Black Clover's timeline as Dante needed time to heal, which gave all kingdoms time to train and create a plan to save the world. However, this wasn't the only time Aster saved the Black Balls. In the battle with Lucifero, he also had a huge knock-on effect as it allows him to return home from the Hino country and defeat Lucius. Think about it, if Nact was dead, there would be nobody to lead the search party to bring Asta home from the Hino country, as it was Nact who refused to believe the reality of the situation that Asta was dead. And well, he was right to do so. After all, Asta isn't affected by any kind of reality or fate. He is an anomaly in the world as stated by Lucius. Even the Witch Queen said that Asta not being special is exactly what makes him special. Since Asta was banished to the Hino country, Lucius believed him to be dead. This is because, as we now know, Lucius could not see any future that involves him. But he's smart enough to realise now that our young Wizard King is still out there. What he doesn't know, however, is that Asta saving Sister Lily from the elves as far back as chapter 158 is the whole reason he has become 100 times stronger by mastering Zeta. If he had let Lily die that day, she wouldn't have been turned into a paladin as she wouldn't have been there on the balcony rejecting Asta. Had it been anybody else that became a paladin that day, Asta would have been dead. This is because when Paladin Lily used Beelzebub's magic to kill Asta, the real Sister Lily's subconsciousness kicked in and saved him. This is confirmed in chapter 343 when she sees Asta again in the Hina country and asks, huh? What are you doing here? She even said in 349 that it's not like she really intended to really kill him, but it's Lucius's brainwashing that takes effect. Now, because Lily had been there for Asta since the very beginning, their relationship is one of the purest in the entire series. This special connection meant that Lily always felt the need to be there for Asta no matter what, hence why she saved him at the final moment in chapter 355. This meant that Asta could train peacefully for a number of days to master Zeta. Not only did this make him a living legend by slaying the five-headed dragon, but it's also going to be key in helping him face Lucius as the strongest Ryu's and Yosuke stated that he created the most powerful attack in the entire manga and will reach the heights of Ryu in chapter 352. The Asta effect also convinced the seven Ryuzen and the entire Hino country that not all foreigners are bad. These Ryuzen are way stronger than the captains and have enough power to change the tide of battle. Just look at Yosuga dispatching one of the paladins with ease. Fogolian only wishes he could do that. We already established against Lucius that Asta's biggest weakness was physical combat. That's how Lucius had the upper hand against him. He got all up close and personal and was hearing him with an old mm -mm 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 -ish -ish. At least that's how I imagine he sounded anyway. Now in chapter 360, even Yuno's breathtaking speed isn't enough to get around Lucius's foresight reactions. But after Asta's holiday in the Hino country, that's no longer an issue. He has mastered Zeten, which he can now use to predict his opponent's movements moments before they do them, giving Asta the protection he needs. Look no further than his fight against Ichika, who had the ability to make her predictions even more difficult due to her magic ability. Thus, by not only getting 100 times stronger with Zeten, but also being the floor in Lucius's predictions, Asta has more than leveled the playing field. If you want me to make a video explaining just how powerful Asta is now, spoilers, it's very powerful, then make sure you smash that like button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out. After all, let's not forget that Asta exists purely to defy Lucius when you really think about it. Even Asta himself said that he wished to defy fate, and the only way to do so is by changing the future, which is exactly what he's doing. Every magic knight in society told him that he's a commoner with no magic that will amount to nothing. Lucifero tried to beat this into him to accept, but Asta was the one and only person that was able to destroy his complete manifestation, claiming that he will not allow fate to determine his future, but his own actions and power. Remember that Sister Lady revealed that she spent ages praying to God to bring about change in the world for the sake of good by eradicating the evils that had plagued it. And well, 
Nobody know. Years later, Asta just so happened to end up at the exact same church that Sister Lily moved to. Coincidence? I think not! Let's be real. We've all wondered for years how someone could have smashed a Lasita when that pussy's so good that it will literally drain the life force from you. Okay. Well, the answer is that she is Black Clover's version of the Virgin Mary, a woman that gave birth without any sexual relations. She was blessed by the heavens to birth the boy that would go up against Lucius, the Antichrist. And so when you view the story in this lens, you can deduce that Asta was most certainly sent by God. This is the reason Yuno and Asta both declare that they could not forgive someone like Lucius and that they would take over as the viceroys of Earth in place of his disciple ways, which are contrary to God's principles in order to build a better world. Now there is one final break in the timeline that Asta has caused, and that is you clicking on the video on your screen right now. Go on, do it. It is peak fiction.